recording in Pro Tools using Logic, Digital Performer, Cubase, Nuendo, Reason, or Ableton Live? Let us mix your project today. We will give your songs a sound that rivals today's hottest acts. Visit eneonicity.com for more details. Welcome to Lesson 4, which covers basic mixing. Our goal in mixing is to do two things. Number one, make each track shine to the best of its ability, while at the same time, number two, making it work together with all the other tracks so that we have an effective mix coming out of our stereo output. So the first thing we're going to want to do is solo each individual track and listen to them. A quick way to solo all tracks or mute all tracks is to hit the Option key and then hit S for Solo or M for Mute. So all of the tracks are muted. We're going to unmute the first one and then we're also going to set up a loop. So in grid mode, we'll select all of the tracks starting at 33 and scrolling across. Another way we can do that is hit Apple A and then we'll go up to the Options window and hit Loop Playback. Another quick key command for that is Shift Apple L. Go ahead and play. Hit Apple Plus for the mix window. And once again, as a brief overview, we have at the top of the mix window, up in the dark gray section, this is where the plugins live. Below that are our bus outputs. Then we have our inputs, outputs, automation modes, pan, record, solo mute, and our volume faders. Now with the panning, we can take one of the channels and we can either scroll all the way to the right or take both levers and scroll all the way to the left. Right now we'll leave it in the middle. And that track sounds fine, so we'll move on to the next. I'm going to add a little bit of high EQ to that, so we'll go up to the plug-in section. Add a four-band EQ. We'll add a little bit of mid, too. We'll listen to that in conjunction with track one. Lower the overall volume. And we'll move on to the next track. So what we're going to want to do with the conga track is add some reverb. Now there's two ways we can add the reverb. We can either add a plug-in that's dedicated to just the conga, or what we're going to do in this case is we're going to add an auxiliary track which will allow us to use that same reverb for other tracks within the sequence, thus saving some processing power. So we'll hit Shift Apple in, and we'll add a stereo aux input. We're going to make the input assignment bus 1 and 2, and then we're going to go over to our conga track and make that bus 1 and 2. Then we'll go ahead and name the track. Scroll up to the top and add our plugin. And then we'll listen to the track. So what we'll want to do first is add some reverb level. That's going to be our output of the reverb. And then we'll click on the bus. And then we're going to send level to the plugin. And we'll try a plate. Lower the send a little bit. Okay, moving on, we're going to go to the next track. Which sounds pretty good, but we'll add a little mid-frequency. So we'll go to the EQ2 in the Digirack, and we'll solo that as well. We'll listen to that in respect to the other tracks. Boost the overall volume a little bit. And move on to the next track, which is the bass.